What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a total body strength training workout. The only equipment required for today's routine is a pair of dumbbells. And the weight that you choose will be completely dependent upon your fitness level. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for the easier modifications. If you're ready to go, let's pump it up. All right, HasFit Tribe, let's get this started with the warm up. I'm gonna be doing a straight leg kick and twist. And I'm gonna do a knee raise plus a twist. They're straight leg kick or knee raise as we twist into that opposite side leg. Arms are extended out parallel to the ground. You decide which variation is appropriate for you. My variation requires a little bit more balance. Breathing through here, keeping those arms extended. And if you can't quite get the full extension or full twist, that's all right, doing the best you can. That's right, and working at your own pace here. This one's gonna warm up your hamstrings, your glutes, thoracic spine, a little bit of shoulders and chest. Try to choose movements in the warm up that hit multiple muscle groups at the same time. Preparing you for what's to come here. That's it, so still moving at a warm up pace. So don't go too crazy here. There'll be plenty of time for that coming up. Breathing through here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, next we're gonna do a hamstring sweep. So let's get that right leg out in front on your heel. Right leg is straight. Left leg slight bend the knee. Bring those straight arms up, sweeping up over. And as we come down, we sweep forward. Feel that stretch in your hamstring. Glue up. Now alternate legs. Coming back down. Feeling that stretch in your hamstring, calf, glutes. Also your shoulders, big circles. As you're moving through. Good, try to keep your back straight. As you're hinging at your hips. Great posterior chain stretch, as well as continuing to warm up those shoulders. Alternating right and left sides. Don't be surprised if one side's a little tighter than the other. Nothing to be alarmed about. And the purpose of our warm up today is to increase your overall body temperature, get your heart rate up a little bit, and at the same time, we're sneaking in some mobility work. Excellent. Big deep breaths, not a race. Feeling that stretch, going a little further down, maybe every time as you start to loosen up for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. Okay, moving into the last warm up move, we're gonna do an upright external rotation plus march in place. Let's get those elbows at our side, 90 degree angle. We're gonna pull back on the hands and at the same time, bring up right and then left knee. So we're marching in place and pulling back on those hands. Another combo move here, hitting our lower and upper body at the same time. Just a great overall upper body shoulder mobility drill. Loosen up those shoulders. Also help you regain that natural upright posture. Breathing through. Might start to feel your shoulders burning a little bit on this one. <laughs> I already feel it. Getting Felt it at here. rep two. <laughs> Didn't take long. It's all right, that's how we know it's working. That's okay, I need this. That's it, we all do, that's why we're here. Excellent. Not much more. Continuing to breathe. It's gonna be so important throughout today's routine. Not hold breath. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh. Check out those shoulders. 
All right, I'm feeling warm, feeling good, Claudia. I feel good. All right, we well, hope you're feeling it. good out there too, Tribe. So first sequence, we're gonna do a superset, back and forth, two exercises. The first exercise, no dumbbells needed. We are gonna need them for the second one. So we're gonna move, move to the floor for the first exercise. We're gonna do a push-up variation. So I'm gonna come up onto my feet. And I'm gonna be on my knees. We're gonna do what's called a dead stop push-up. So we're gonna, in a controlled fashion, lower our bodies all the way down. Now we're gonna pull back on our elbows, squeeze our back, and now press up. That is one repetition. We're gonna do 12 in total. All right, breathing in on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Three, two, one, begin. Control the way down. Pull back on those elbows. Press back up. That's one. Continue. Breathing throughout. Make sure when you're pressing your body up after that dead stop that you don't leave your hips on the floor and let your core sink, but instead keep that core tight and engaged. Straight as a board. Straight as a board and bringing it up with the rest of your body. This exercise is working your chest, shoulders, core, and even your back, all together here. That's seven. 12 in total, keep moving through it. Exhale, push up. That's it, inhaling on the way down, big exhale as you press up. Almost through this one. That's 10, two more. Here we go, Tribe, fighting through. Nice and controlled, not a race on this one. Last one right here. And 12. All right, we're gonna let the upper body rest for a second. We need some two dumbbells for the next one. Move into a lower body exercise. Make sure you're using those legs to pick up your dumbbells. Don't bend over at your back. We're gonna do a couple reverse lunge variations. I'm gonna do a low reverse lunge. And I'm just gonna do a regular reverse lunge. So we're both starting with our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna step back with our right leg, drop both knees to a 90. And now I'm gonna to return to a low squat. And I'm gonna to return to starting position. Now step back with that left leg. I'm staying here, I'm never coming all the way back up. 12 repetitions in total. All right, let's hit it and begin. Yeah, and you decide if you wanna do this low reverse lunge or if you feel more comfortable standing all the way up in between repetitions. Good. My variation is gonna keep constant tension on your legs. Halfway. Or Claudia's variation is gonna allow you to rest in between. You wanna inhale on the way down, exhale as you push through back to starting position. Both variations work in your hamstring, glutes, quadriceps, even your grip, just holding on to those dumbbells. Here's 10 right here, two more. Almost there, almost there. Last one. Excellent. And return, good. Okay, you can set those dumbbells back to the side. And we're going through this sequence one more time. So back to the floor, to those dead stop push-ups. Okay, taking a couple of big deep breaths here. We got 12 push-ups to do. Let's get it going in three, two, one, begin. Control that descent. Pull back on those elbows. Press up. Exhale. Good. Didn't take long to get that heart rate up in this one. Breathing through. This dead stop makes the push-up just that much more difficult having to press yourself up from that completely lowered static position. That's five. It eliminates any momentum that you'd have in getting back up. Excellent. Getting that back involved. Squeeze that back as you pull back on your elbows on every rep. That's number eight. Come on, tribe. Here are the last four. You got it, you got it. Just two sets of these today. Make it count. Again, nice and controlled. Be easier to race through these. We're not looking for easy, we're looking for results. Last one, right here. Excellent. Okay, 
That's that push-ups are done. <sighs> Let's grab those dumbbells and hit one more set of those reverse lunges. Big deep breaths here. Catching that breath. That's right. All right, six on each leg. Start with that right leg. In three, two, one, begin. Inhale down. Exhale as you come up. And if you need to switch up the weights at any time during this workout, feel free to do so. Pretty easy to make any of these moves easier or harder just by varying the weights that you choose. Which is why it's always nice to have a few different variations of weights accessible to you when you're doing these strength training workouts. Here's number nine right here. Staying low. We're coming all the way up. You decide. Two more. 11. Last one. Ah, excellent. All right, we got the next superset coming at you, and you are going to need two dumbbells for this one. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a 3 0 3 tempo reverse row. So let me break that down <laughs> for you. All right, it's a mouthful, I know. Feet shoulder width apart. We're going to bend over on a 45 degree angle. Keep those shoulders back, palms facing forward for three seconds. One, two, three. We're pulling back. Zero seconds up top, right back down. One, two, three. So it's a three second pull on the way up, three second lowering phase for 12 repetitions. It's going to feel Let's good. Let's do it together. Bend over, palms forward, and begin. One, two, three, zero. One, two, three. Repeat every repetition. Again, control. It's all about that time under tension. That's what's really going to spark that growth, spark that strength. Be a lot easier to use momentum, but instead we're focused on keeping those muscles contracted and working throughout. Keep your core tight, back straight. That's six right there. Weight stays in your hips. And you're pulling back on those elbows on every repetition. You're exhaling as you're pulling up on those elbows. That's it. Why don't you pretend like you got a string attached to those elbows and somebody's pulling back on that string. So you're not pulling back from your hands, but instead you're pulling back from those elbows. That's 10, two more. Last two. Grind it with us here. We're feeling it too. Here we go, last one. And 12. Excellent. Okay, Ooh. you can set those dumbbells down. And we're going to move to the floor for a core move. We're going to get into a side plank position. So from the floor, I'm coming down on one forearm, and now I'm going to come up onto one foot, other foot stacked on top. And I'm on one knee. Hand on your head, and now we're going to go elbow to knee and return. We're going to do 10 on each side. Ready, set, begin. Boom, contract every time. Keep that hip up. Don't allow it to relax or rest, but instead keep that core tight. If you can't quite touch your elbow to your knee, that's all right. Doing the best you can. Last one right here. Ten. Excellent, okay, switch inside. Flipping over, same move. Let's hit 10 more on this opposite side. Again, you decide which variation is right for you and begin. Exhale as you bring that knee to your elbow. Inhale, exhale as you bring it up. Working those obliques, working your overall core, one into the next here. Come on, you got to try. Fighting through here. Every repetition is getting you just that much closer. That's nine, and that's 10. All right, we're back up onto our feet. Keep this train moving here. We need both dumbbells for one more set of those reverse rows. Making sure you're using those legs to pick those dumbbells up. That's right. Feet are shoulder width apart, palms are forward. Let's hit these last 12 rows. Bend over and begin. One, two, three, one, two, three, excellent. Man, you might have to go to your happy place on this one. Think about whatever it is that motivates you, 
What is it that brought you here today? Time to get that mind focused on it. Trying to get stronger, build muscle, lose fat, just get better at life as a whole. Whatever it is, staying focused on it right here. Halfway point. Do not hold your breath. Exhale and inhale on the way down. Always exhaling on the hardest part of the move, which in this case is that pull back. Pulling back from those elbows. Squeeze that back at the top. Come on, Tribe, you got it. Pushing through. Right here, right now, you got it. That's 10, you have two more. Last two, let's do it together. Get that head in line with your spine. And 12. Ooh, ah, burn so good. Ooh. All right, set nice those dumbbells down. No more of those. Cross those off the list. <laughs> to the floor we go. Moving back into that side plank position. Up onto that forearm. Elbow to knee. You know what to do. And begin. Again, controlled. Return all the way back to that starting position. After every repetition, focusing on your breathing, core is tight and engaged. Don't allow the hip to sink. Last one and 10. Ha, ah, switch it up. Come on, let's do it. Last 10 of these. You got this, just 10 more? That's nothing, you got it right here. Ready, set, begin. Boom, one, into the next. Come on, tribe. You got it. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Prove it to yourself right here. Come on. Getting a little stronger core. And two more. Every rep. And last one right here, 10. Excellent work. All right, moving back up to our feet and we are gonna need two dumbbells for this next one. If you have a lighter weight variation, you're probably wanna, gonna wanna grab it for this one. We're both going a little lighter on this. We're gonna do a dumbbell shoulder box for 10 reps. Feet shoulder width apart. Good posture. Let's bring those elbows to a 90 degree angle at your side. Now, bring your upper arm up till it's parallel to the floor. Pull back on those hands. Return back down. So it's one, two, three, four, for 10 repetitions, <laughs> doing it together here. You're gonna burn those shoulders out. Claudia's already feeling it. I'm already laughing, all I can do is laugh. Hey, there we go, that's a good <laughs> attitude to have. Smile through it, tribe. Here we go, and begin. One, two, three, four. That's one rep, 10 in total. Again, it's in under a controlled movement pattern here. Be a lot easier to fly through these, but we are looking for results. You got it, one in the next here. If you find yourself having to use momentum to get the dumbbells up, then you're using too heavy of a weight. And it's totally okay, lower that weight. And if you totally burn your shoulders out, which is understandable, you can just keep doing this movement pattern with no weight. Whatever you gotta do to get through it. Three more. Almost there, come on. This is a total shoulder complex move, hitting all three of your deltoids. Whew. Hitting those shoulders from all angles. Last one. And we can feel it. Ah. And 10, excellent. Ah. Okay, we're gonna move up and wait a little bit for this next one. If you wanna use the same weight, that's okay. Again, you choose what's right for you. We're gonna do a dumbbell, sumo deadlift, plus a shrug. A little different variation here. Feet are a little wider and shoulder width apart. Toes pointed out. Dumbbells hanging straight down. Break at the hips first. All the way down, control. Now we're gonna come up quarter of the way. Up, back down, up, shrug. Bring those shoulders to your ears. That's one repetition. That's a lot of compound one. moves here. <laughs> okay, and begin. Down, so it's a one to quarter sumo. Up, back down, up, shrug, good. So this little extra quarter at the bottom really places an extra emphasis on your backside and in your glutes. Making sure you're sitting back with the weight in your hips, in your heels. You should not be coming forward onto your toes at all. Halfway. 
Break at those hips first, every rep. So you're not bending at the knees first, but instead the hips go back first. Keeping head up, chest up. That's it, head stays in line with your spine. You got it, breathing through here. That's eight. Last two, come on. Fighting through that burn. Come on, you're stronger than that burn. Last one. Let's see it. Excellent, okay. Ooh. So I'm gonna go back down a little bit lighter for this next one. We're gonna do a bicep exercise, a curl variation. This is gonna be a one, zero, three tempo, curl the hammer. Working through it together. Palms are facing forward. We're gonna go one second on the way up. One. Turn the palms facing in. Three seconds on the way down. One. Palms facing in. Three seconds. That's it, so 10 repetitions. Yep. In total, doing it together. Begin. One. One. Two. Three. Good. One. One, two, three, excellent. You're gonna exhale as you come up to the curl. Exhale as you bring down in a hammer curl. This one's hitting both of your major bicep heads as well as your grip and your forearm. That's the halfway repetition. Now it'll be easy to race through that negative eccentric, eccentric phase, but avoid that temptation. Control the way down. Feel it work here. Come on. Two more. There it is. Here we go. Last one. You got it. And under control. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Three moves down, and we're gonna go through that cycle one more time. Back into that dumbbell shoulder box. You choose a weight that's appropriate for you. Yep. Whatever's gonna help you get through all 10 repetitions with good form. All right, elbows come into our side. 90 degree angle. Let's not waste any time, right into it. One, two, three, four. Come on, drive. There's that time of the workout where it gets so important that you focus on what brought you here today to begin with. When this workout gets tough, you gotta be tougher. It's all about that mental strength right now. Halfway not even physical it's all about that mental toughness proving it to yourself how tough you are right here right now grinding through that burn three more come on that's nothing last three you got it last two you got it come on almost there and then you won't see any more of these <laughs> last one ha ah. ah. ha you can tell that was Ooh. tough for us too zero excellent work Okay, moving back to that one and a quarter sumo deadlift plus shrug. A lot of compound moves today. Picking up those dumbbells, using our legs. Last set of these. Max efficiency, that's what we're about, right? That's it. Most amount of work done in the shortest amount of time. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width. Toes pointed out. Let's do it. Weight back in those hips. Drop straight down, down. Quarter up, down, up. Shrug, nine more, come on. Get it, try it. There it is. This one's working your hamstrings, your glutes, your quadriceps, shoulders, traps, forearms, biceps. Everything's working together on this one. Lower back, all together to make this happen. Halfway, make sure your head up and chest is up. That's it, don't be looking down or allowing that back to round. Good. Again, focusing on that time under tension, not racing through it. Two more. Almost there, almost there. Come on, we're in it together, Tribe. Last one, last one. Zero. Oh my. No more of those. Thank you. Now let's move into that last set of curls. Changing my weight up. Me too. <laughs> We're feeling it too. We're right there with you, Tribe. Come on, let's get it. Last set. Palms facing forward. And begin. Up. Together. One, two, three. 
Good. Nice. Big, deep breaths here. Whew. Again, not using any momentum here. That's it. No swinging. Don't allow those dumbbells to flop down. And if you can't control them, it's time to change up your weight. And if it's too easy, it's time to change up your weight. <laughs> That's what's so great about this strength training is you can make it as easy or as difficult as you need at any point in time. That's this is eight right here. Come on, we're getting close. Getting close. Two more. Almost there. Under control. Last one, tribe. Ah, great work. All right, Claudia and I are both gonna lighten up our weights a little bit for this next exercise. The first one in this next superset. Now, if you don't have lighter weights, then you know, a couple of water bottles might do the trick for you. We're gonna move to the floor. We're gonna do a V-sit dumbbell fly. So leaning back on a 45 degree angle, elbows are bent like we're hugging a tree. Now I'm gonna bring my feet up off the floor and hold. And I'm gonna keep my feet down on the ground. Now we're gonna inhale as we open those dumbbells up, stretch our chest, and then bring the dumbbells back together. You decide which variation is right for you. Variations working a little bit more core, but they're both working core. Definitely. Okay, so we're doing 12 in total. And begin, inhale on the way down. Exhale as we come back up. Good, trying your best to maintain this 45 degree lean. And if you're not feeling it in your core, it's probably because you're not far enough back. Hold and breathe. Trying to keep those dumbbells in line with your chest. Stretch that chest, and then use those chest muscles to pull the dumbbells back together and contract up at the top. That's number seven. Breathing in on the way down. Exhaling on the way up. This one's working your abs, shoulders, and chest. All working together here. Excellent. That's 10, two more. Almost there, almost there. Here, last one, you got it. And nice, okay. Whew. We're gonna lie back for this next one. Still holding on to these dumbbells. We're gonna do a dumbbell tricep extension plus either a leg raise or a knee raise. So let's start with those elbows bent at a 90 degree angle. Legs are flat out in front of us. Keeping that lower back glued to the floor. I'm gonna extend up my arms and bring my straight legs up. And I'm bringing my knees up. And then as we do that, we exhale. And return. Okay, so 12 repetitions in it together. Come on. And begin. So important on this one, especially as you're lowering those legs, that you keep your lower back glued to the floor. And if you're doing my variation and you can't keep your lower back glued to the floor, that means it's time to move to Claudia's knee raise variation. Breathe. And if bringing two knees up together at the exact same time is hard, perhaps try alternating yep. your knees. You can do one at a time. Again, we encourage you to make this workout work for you. Both of these moves are working your core, so you're not getting much break there. Back and forth between the two. Three more. Bend at those elbows only and then extend, squeezing your triceps. 11, last one. Excellent. Nice work. Okay, Ooh, come on back up. That's one of each. We got one more time through, two and two of each. Moving back into that V-sit fly. So coming back, leaning back on that 45 degree angle, both dumbbells. I'm gonna have my feet up. And I'm gonna have my feet down. And begin. Stretch that chest and then squeeze it. Very good. Trying your best to get some diaphragmatic breathing going here. Breathing through your abdominals, not through your chest. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. That's right. We wanna release any of that intra abdominal pressure. We're making sure that our breath is in connection with our movement. 
You got it. Whew. That's halfway. You can see I'm shaking on this one too. It's a tough one. Come on. But we're tougher. Fighting through it together, tribe. That's eight. One right into the next here. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Two more. Excellent. Last one. Come on, tribe. You got it. Push through in. Ah, hoo-wee. That was nice not work. pretty, but I got it done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lying back down. You can tell we don't pretend to be perfect. Not about being perfect. It's just about putting that work in, getting a little bit better every workout. Tricep extension. Leg raise or knee raise. And begin. <sighs> One, into the next here. Keep that lower back glued to the floor. Stay focused on it. Do not allow it to come up. Yes, it would be so much easier to just flop your legs up and down and then bounce them off the floor, but stay under control here. And here's seven. More than halfway done. Come on, one to the next. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Think about how good it's going to feel when this workout is all done and you can cross it off your list. Here's 11. Last one. Try it. Let's go. Push through and exhale for 12. Ha! Ah, way to push through. All right. We're staying light with our weights for this next superset, but we only need one of our two dumbbells. So I'm going to put one on back. We're going to move to the floor. We're going to do a high plank reverse fly. So I'm going to do this one from on my feet. I'm going to be on my knees for this one. So my left hand is on the floor. My right hand is on this dumbbell. Now with my elbow bent, I'm going to bring that dumbbell underneath my body and I'm going to pull back on that elbow, squeeze my back up top and return. So we're going to do each side for 12 repetitions here. And three, two, one, begin. Core stays tight, under control. Try to keep your shoulders nice and square. And exhale as you bring that dumbbell out to the side. Control the way down and control the way up. Halfway. Squeeze that back up at the top and maintain a slight bend in both elbows throughout. Don't lock out either arm. That's 10. Last two. And last one. All right, try not to come down. Set that dumbbell down, alternate hands, and right back into it here. Working your core, your upper back, shoulders, legs, all working together, chest. Again, another compound move here. That's seven. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Almost there, tribe. 10, two more. And last one for 12. Okay, we can set that hand weight to the side. We're gonna stay in this quadruple position here on your hands and knees. Time to hit those glutes. So with that right leg, we're gonna do a fire hydrant. I want you to bring that knee up and out to the side, open the hip up, return it back down. Squeeze that glute up at the top. We got 10 repetitions and begin. Again, trying to keep our hips nice and square. We definitely don't want to rotate our hip. Yeah, so you're not turning and rotating your whole body as that leg comes up. Trying to only hinge at that hip. This is seven. And exhale, eight. And that last one, I want you to keep it up. Nine, last one, keep it up. Keep it up. Now, pulse 15 times. One, two, three, little range of motion. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Set it down. Ooh. Burn so good. <laughs> Let's do that other side now. Come on, you got to try. All the way up, all the way down. Begin. Again, not rotating your body as that leg comes up. It would be easier to just let that whole side come up. That would really defeat the purpose, and it would torque your lower back. Two reasons not to do that. There's seven. Squeeze that glue up at the top. Nine, last one, keep it up. And pulse 15 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my. Those glutes are working. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Let's grab that dumbbell. Ooh. One more time through. High plank, reverse fly. You decide if you want to be on your feet or on your knees. And you also decide that if that weight that you have is too heavy, just use your body weight. That's true, you can do it with just your arm. Great point. All right, here we go. We're up and begin. Good, strong core. Back is tight. And we are breathing. Do not hold your breath. Only moving at that shoulder. Six, that's halfway. Everything else stays still. Come on, there it is, there it is. Squeeze that back up at the top. 10, two more. 12. Excellent. Ooh, nice Stay work, Stay up, tribe. switching sides, and right into it. Come on here. When this workout gets tough, you get tougher. What'd you come here for today, tribe? What is it? What are you working towards? Reminding yourself right here. Squeeze that back up at the top. Come on, come on, come on. That's 10, two more. Finish strong. 11, last one. 12. Ha. Ah. Oh. Dumb to the side. Shake it out. No more of those. Ooh. Let's get after those glutes now. <sighs> come on, quadruple position. And right side, fire hydrant. Let's do it. Burn them out. Full range of motion here. Good. Three. Come on, tribe. Squeeze that glue up at the top. Halfway. Do not rotate that body. Almost there, almost there. That's nine, two more. I'm sorry. Last That's one, it. hold it at the top. There it is. <laughs> now pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 down. Sorry for that confusion, folks. It's all right. When that burn kicks in, it gets hard to think. Ooh, especially those shoulders right now, right? Okay, here we go. Let's hit that other glute and begin. Hip hinge. Finishing strong right here. This is it. This is it right here. It's you versus you. Not in competition with us. Not in competition with anybody else but yourself. Just getting a little better every day. There's nine, here's 10, and keep that leg Hold up. Hold it up top, and you know the drill. 15 pulses, get after it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whoo! <sighs> <laughs> Feels good, we did it, folks. Okay. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna move my hand weight off to the side. <sighs> And now we're going to move into a cool down. Yes, you won't want to miss this. You can stay down on the floor. And the purpose of our cool down is to allow our heart rates to come down slowly. And at the same time, we get some added mobility, flexibility work in. That will help reduce our soreness. Okay, so we're going to lie down flat on our backs. And then we're going to take a nap. <laughs> no, not really. I wish. Okay, that sounds good. No, we're gonna do a lying straight leg hamstring stretch. Keep your left leg glued to the floor. You're gonna bring your right straight leg up. And then we're just gonna hold. Now it'd be easier if you keep that knee bent, but instead try your best to keep it straight. You're gonna feel that stretch in your glute, hamstring and calf on this one. And if you're a little tighter like me, you notice that my leg is not at a 90 degree angle, not straight up in the air, and that's okay. You do it to the best of your ability. That's it. We're all different. No two bodies are alike. And we're gonna let it lower in three, two, one, down slowly. Okay, opposite leg now, same move up. Keep that opposite leg glued to the floor. It'd be a lot easier if you let that opposite leg come up, but keeping it glued to the floor makes it just that much more challenging. Nice, big deep breaths here. Any static stretches like this, we want to take it to about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. You want to feel a good stretch, but you should not be feeling pain. For three, two, one, lower, relax, good. Okay, we're gonna turn over to our sides now. 
We're going to do a lying side quad stretch. Follow me here, Claudia. Flip it around. There it is. Okay. So let's, from our side, left hand out. We're going to pull back, stretching that right quadricep. Now you can either grab your foot, your shin, ankle, or if you can't quite reach, you can use a towel or a band to help you grab it. Keep that knee in tight to your side. Don't allow it to flare up. And again, just another static stretch here. Just hold. Excellent. Nice, big, deep breaths. Quads got a lot of work in today. I need some recovery. For three, two, one, zero. Shake it loose and flip it over. Other side now, same move. Just hitting that opposite side quadricep. All right, Ugh. try not to totally crush my mic pack. And, oh, one moment here. Okay, thank you folks. And pull back, there we go. Once that mic pack starts drilling into your hip bone, it really takes away from the movement. Totally, a little uncomfortable <laughs> there. <laughs> Just holding back, feeling that good stretch in your quadricep, trying to only bend at that knee joint. One side may be tighter than the other. For me, I can definitely feel it in my left side more. Totally common, nothing to be alarmed about. For three, two, one, zero, all right. Okay, so this next one's one of our favorite moves. It's a compound move. We're gonna do a page turner plus a half angel. It's another mouthful. We're gonna lie down on our side. And I want you to bring that top leg up and over, bend at a 90 degree angle and let it relax. Now I want you to put both hands together. So here's a page turn. I want you to be a book. I want you to open that book up, follow that hand with your eyes as it comes all the way over. Now bend at that elbow, reach up. Now pull back down from the elbow, extend the arm and close the book. Oh, yeah. All right, try it again. So open that book up, stretching your shoulders, chest, and your spine. Now bend at that elbow. Reach straight up. Pull down from that elbow, really hitting the scapular muscles. Straighten the arm out and close the book. Might take you a couple repetitions to get used to it. But you want to talk about a lot being done in one move. This one move is really hitting a lot of trouble spots for most people. Again, we're living this sedentary lifestyle where we just spend so much time seated. We really need to focus on opening ourselves up, restoring that posture, regaining our mobility, and this does a great job of that. Let's hit just one last one on this side. Again, not a race. You should probably feel yourself loosening up as you go through this as well. This is a great one to do in the morning. I love doing this one when I wake up. Great point. Okay, close that book and let's flip over. Same move, just on the opposite side now. Again, bring that top leg up and over, bend at a 90 degree angle. Start with that book closed, relaxed, open up. And I'm too close to that wall. I'm gonna nail that wall every time. There we go. Let's try that again. Ah, that's better. Excellent. And you do the best you can with these moves in the space that you have. Taking yourself all the way through this sequence. Also doesn't help when you're 6'2", right? No, I got a <laughs> little bit of a wingspan here. I've been told I always look taller in person. I think something about the camera, people think I'm short, but I am 6'2", so that wingspan will catch up with me pretty quick. Excellent. All the way open that side up. Ooh, this left side feels super tight. And depending on where you're the tightest, you may feel this in different spots. One person may do this and feel the most tightness in their back. Somebody else could do it and feel the most tightness in their chest. Really, this move will expose any specific tight spots you have and then help you to correct it. But as we said before, no two bodies are the same, so it's gonna hit everybody just a little bit differently. Excellent. All right, let's do this one just one last time. 
for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Close that book. All right, nearing the end here. Let's come up onto our feet, moving into a little shoulder stretch here. Great one for our rotator cuffs. We're gonna do an internal shoulder stretch. Let's create that right hand. I'm gonna place my right hand just behind my lower back. And I have my right hand on my hip. You decide what's right for you. We can either grab and reach and pull that elbow, or you can grab and reach, pull that forearm. And we're gonna gently pull forward. Again, 85, 90%. Don't be torquing your arm. Mm -hmm. Just enough for you to feel that good stretch. Nice little bend in your knees. Good point. Just a static stretch and hold here. Shoulders got a lot of work in today. Oh man, did they? I'm gonna feel good tomorrow. Let's hold this one for five, four, three, two, one. Shake it loose. And opposite side. Again, if it's your first time doing this one, you may just want to have your hand on your hip. No reason to go too crazy. Just an overall excellent move to loosen up those rotator cuffs if you suffer from tightness or lack of mobility in them. Big deep breaths here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, last one, shake it loose. We're gonna hit our forearms and our wrists with this last one, it's called the waterfall. Right elbow into your right side, right palm facing up the ceiling. I want you to grab onto those fingertips, pull back on those fingertips slowly as you bring that elbow up, and then we're just gonna hold right there. Again, our wrists take a lot of beating too, don't even think about on our phones, keyboards, driving. Holding our babies. <laughs> Holding our babies in the closet. <laughs> That's right. We have, uh, let's see, 13 weeks old now? Yes. We have a 13 week old son. So we're, our wrists are taking a beating hold of him. Claudia is more so than mine. Have to get some wrist wraps. That's true, that's a good point. <laughs> All right, we're gonna switch it up in three, two, one, zero. All right, left elbow into our left side, pulling back on those fingertips. Last one for the day right here. Big oh. deep breaths. And this is that time of the workout where you just take a moment of reflection. Give yourself credit for getting through this tough workout. Working out were easy, everybody be fit, but you know that's not the case. That's what makes you so special for showing up today. That's why you should be proud for showing up and putting in that work today. Thank you for working out with us. For three, two, one, zero. Yes. We made it. That's we it. We did it. Booyah. Nice work out there, Hasfit Tribe. Thank you for working out with us today. We'd ask that you please support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. You can do so by downloading our free app. It's available for both iOS and Android. You can also stop by our store, pick up a Hasfit shirt, some Hasfit gear, or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Please also don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Thank you so much for working out with us today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.